In this video, we are going to do a distance example that involves the pigeonhole principle. So it says, prove that in any set of five points selected inside a square of side length two, that there are at least two points such that the distance between them is at most square root of two. So if I were to draw a picture of this, so it says that we have this square, we have this square here, and it tells us the side length of the square. So it tells us the side length of the square is two. So all the sides are two units. And it's saying that no matter which five points we pick within this square, any set of five points that we pick in the square, that there's got to be at least two of those points such that the distance between them, the distance between them is not bigger than the square root of two units. The distance between them is at most square root of two. So this is interesting. Like, no matter where these points are, they we're guaranteed to have at least two that are pretty close together. They're most square to two units apart. So how can we show this? So the first thing that I want to observe is when we see wording like this, prove that there are at least two points, or more generally, if we're trying to prove that there are at least some number of something, so in this case, at least two points, that is a tip off tip off for the pigeonhole principle. Okay, it's not always going to be a pigeonhole problem, but it, it's a strong indicator that we might at least want to think about that. Okay, so if I'm going to prove this with the pigeonhole principle, I will need to think about, I'll need to identify what the pigeons are and what the holes are. Okay, typically that's the hard part of a pigeonhole problem, figuring out what the pigeons all are and what the holes are. Sometimes it'll be kind of more immediately obvious, sometimes it won't. So for this problem, you know, we are going to be picking these five points. Those are going to be the pigeons, these points, and I know that there are five of them. But what's the challenging part is figuring out the number of holes, or sorry, or what the holes are. Ideally, I want fewer holes than pigeons, because if there are fewer holes, then that would mean by the pigeonhole principle that there's got to be at least two points in one hole. That's one thing that would be nice. That's what I'm trying to show that there's at least two points with some property. And the other thing would be that would be nice is I really want the holes, whatever they are, whatever they look like, whatever these holes to look like, that no matter which two points I have within the hole, I really want their distance to be at most square root of two. If that was the case, no matter which two points I picked, no matter which two points that I picked, that the distance between them was definitely at most square root of two, we'd be done from there. So from here, I want to give you a chance to think about it because finding the holes, that's the heart of the problem. That's the challenging part. So pause the video for three minutes to try that. Four, three, two, one, pause it and try it. Okay, so hopefully you did that. Hopefully you really paused it to think about it. If you didn't yet, I would really encourage you to do that. Um, okay, so let's talk about it. So what should these holes be? So let me just erase these points that I have in my square. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to split up my square into some smaller squares. I'm going to cut it in half vertically like this. I'm also going to, let me draw that a little better, cut it in half vertically like this. And I'm going to cut it in half horizontally like that. So overall, I cut it into quarters, where now this is a side length one, that's one as well. And even vertically, this is one. And this is one. So the holes are going to be these sub squares, these sub squares, and each of these sub squares are one by one. And there are four of them. So because I have more points than holes, by pigeonhole principle, I will say by pH, there are at least two points, two points in the same hole, in the same one by one sub square. And that's great for us because if I think about any two points that I draw within a sub square, what's the furthest apart they could be? The furthest they could be is if they were at opposite corners if there were opposite corners like this. Okay, because then if I draw the distance between them, and I notice I got a right triangle, well, if I do some Pythagorean theorem, 
the length of this hypotenuse is square root of 2. And that's what I'm trying to show, that that's kind of the biggest the distance would be. Okay, so let's, let's write that up. So the furthest possible distance between these two points occurs if they are at opposite corners. At opposite corners. And by Pythagorean theorem, by the Pythagorean theorem, this would be, this would be, if I call this hypotenuse D, I would get 1 squared plus 1 squared equals D squared. So that gives me that D would be equal to square root of 2. And that's exactly what I wanted to show, that that, that distance would be at most square root of 2. Okay. So I'm just going to write this is what we wanted. This is what we wanted to show. We've now shown that there are at least two points that are in the same subsquare. And if they're in the sub same subsquare, the furthest the distance between them could be is square root of 2. So this is what we wanted. So here's my symbol for we are done with the proof.